and run, make that ball in the park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bound running. Pops is drawing up. And Brown made the running. And the diver by five minutes. And Jack in front, drawing up. And Brown's Cougar on the way. It's affirmed. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief is scratching. Best pal breaks away. So far as all black. Real quiet. Here's now along the inside. Glad you could join us on the final Friday night of the meet here at Betfair Hollywood Park. Good eight race card to wrap up night racing. Two days left at the meet Saturday and Sunday. First post time at 1 o'clock on Saturday. The American Oaks and the A Gleam. Also, Chantal Sutherland, winner of last week's Hollywood Gold Cup, will sign autographs in the paddock from 12 to 1 Saturday at Betfair Hollywood Park. Let's get right to the action of the Friday night card. Starter allowance race kicked off the Friday card. Six furlongs, a purse of $25,000. Number five, Classical Slew, the post time choice at 7 to 5. Vic Stoffer with the Friday opener. They're off. Rummy's Secret War and Lone Justice show speed. To the outside in Classical Slew. Now Classical Slew and Lone Justice will set the pace. Rain Gear away in third. Rummy Secret War breaks well, but now sits fourth. Bellow Purse is fifth, and the early trailer is Warren's Mystery. Lone Justice challenges. Classical Slew up the back stretch, and they're even past the half mile pole. Lone Justice inside, Classical Slew outside. It's two and a half lengths to Rain Gear. Rummy Secret War is fourth at the rail and three and a half off the lead. Bellow Purse asked to go more now by Amir Sedania. Fifth in the blue and white and five from the front. Seven lengths last. Warren's mystery as they run to the quarter pole. It is Lone Justice and Classical Slew, but now Rain Gear is coming on, as is Rummy Secret War. Rummy Secret War, the three path, Rain Gear, the four path. They're after Lone Justice, who's now put away Classical Slew. Lone Justice, final furlong, a two length lead. Rain Gear and Rummy Secret War continue to battle second and third. Bellow Purse is fourth, 16th out. Lone Justice leads by two and a half. Rummy Secret War is second, Rain Gear third, and Bellow Purse fourth. It is Lone Justice in front. Lone Justice won by two, Rummy Secret War second, Rain Gear third, Bellow Purse finish fourth. For Maria McKee fans, Lone Justice takes the opener for trainer Vod Ferris and jockey Kevin Krigger. Lone Justice, $9.20 to win. Long shot Rummy Secret War up for second, and finishing third was Rain Gear. Nice trifecta, almost $150 on the try. Final time, 112 flat. Race number two at five furlongs, maiden claimers, two-year-old fillies, claiming price of $30,000. Scratch the one, Half Moon Gambler. Scratch the four, Bluegrass Girls. The favorite was number three, Pursuit of Paradise, off at odds of nine to five. They're off. Snackable and Pursuit of Paradise, Hyena and Glad's Gals, Snackable in charge early. Miss Luna is next, and the trailer is Tangled Rock. Snackable just in front, Pursuit of Paradise in a desperately tight spot, couldn't get up in there, shuffled back a couple of positions. Snackable is joined, though, by Glad's Gals, and these two now match strides. Hyena and Pursuit of Paradise are right behind the twosome up front, a length and three quarters from the lead. Tangled Rock and Miss Luna make it two by two by two, separated by four and a half as they round the far turn. Quarter pole now, Glad's Gals and Snackable. Glad's Gals maybe half a head in front. Snackable right alongside these two even as they straighten away. Two and a half back now to Hyena. Pursuit of Paradise has three and a half to come. Then Miss Luna and Glad's Gals and Snackable continue to match strides. And Hyena joins the party three deep. Three, three-year-old fillies, two-year-old fillies to the wire. But it's Hyena who makes the last run and wins. Hyena beat Glad's Gals by a length and three quarters. Snackable was third in pursuit of Paradise fourth. Make it a Kevin Krieger double as Hyena takes down the second for trainer Peter Miller. First time starter by Keed Entry, $9 even. Second, another first time starter, Glad's Gals. Third was Snackable. That Kevin Krigger double, $46.40. Final time, 59 and 4. We'll take a timeout, come back with a Friday night pick six. Friday night pick six tipped off with race number three, six furlongs on the turf, $25,000 claiming price, three olds and up, which have never won two races. Number three, Call Me Jones, the post time choice at eight to five. Secret Spy, the second pick at two to one. Six went six on the grass in race three. 
They're set. They're up. You little devil messed up the break. Call Me Jones broke beautifully, goes to the front from Father of Paps, Secret Spy right between those two. Crimson Giant races in fourth, Secret Spy going to split horses and put his head in front. Then comes above par and the slow starting, You Little Devil. Three of them right across the track. Father Paps three deep now puts a neck in front of Secret Spy. At the rail goes Call Me Jones. Father Paps going to clear off into the far turn and now a length and a half or two in front. It's five back to Crimson Giant and another three back to the two trailers. You little devil, and above par, Father Pabst runs away to the quarter pole. It is Father Pabst now in charge, a solid lead, four and a half lengths from Secret Spy and Call Me Jones. Crimson Giant moves up in fourth, but still six behind the front running Father Pabst. Then above par, and You little devil, and Father Pabst is dominating past mid stretch. Father Pabst with a four and a half length lead. Call Me Jones, Crimson Giant to the outside, Father Pabst 16th out, still three to work with, but Call Me Jones is coming at Father Paps. This could end up close. Father Paps, here comes Call Me Jones. Call Me Jones! Call Me Jones ran down Father Paps, who blew a big lead. Crimson Giant was third close for fourth, you little devil, and above par. The favorite Call Me Jones wears down the long shot Father Paps. Tough beat for Father Paps. Good last part of the meet for trainer Steve Knapp. Call Me Jones at $5.20. That trifecta 105.80, final time, 111 flat. On to race number four at five and a half furlongs, maiden claimers, fillies and mares, three and up in a field of ten. Number two, Nifty Dream, the second choice at nine to five. Scratch to seven, La Sancha. Number ten, Zenit, adds blinkers. First time, Corey Nakatani, the choice at eight to five. Vic Stoffer with the fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Mike's Asset and JM's Golden Legacy, Mike's Asset takes charge. Secret Songbird, Tis Final, Nifty Dream, Zenit, and Onyx Be Good are next. Then comes Dark Gambler and Lemonade Springs, and the trailer is Tar Heel Bay. Mike's Asset, a flyer up the back stretch. Two and a half lengths, now two to JM's Golden Legacy, who comes after the front runner. Tis Final and Secret Songbird have three and a half lengths. Something's gone wrong with Zenit. Zenit's going to be pulled up out of the race. Number 10, Zenit, has been pulled up by Corey Nakatani. Midway on the far turn, and Mike's Asset now only leads by a neck to JM's Golden Legacy. Tis Final is third and only a length and three quarters from the front. Secret Songbird is next. Then comes Nifty Dream, Onyx Be Good, and a five-wide Dark Gambler. Top of the stretch they run. Mike's Asset and JM's Golden Legacy. Mike's Asset still a length and a half in front. JM's Golden Legacy is second by two lengths to Tiz Final. Here comes Onyx Be Good, going to try to split horses. Onyx Be Good in the yellow cap. Meanwhile, Tiz Final has taken over the lead. Onyx Be Good through from the inside. Tiz Final, Onyx Be Good, Tiz Final. Saul Arias and Tiz Final beat Onyx Be Good. JM's Golden Legacy was third and Nifty Dream finished fourth. Long shot Tiz Final holds off an even longer shot. Onyx Be Good. Tis final, Saul Arias aboard for trainer Francis Meza. The winner returned $15.60. 30 to one shot, first time starter Onyx Be Good had a little traffic trouble and still ran second. Another long shot, JM's Golden Legacy was third. Trifecta, $2,500. The favorite number 10, Zenit, pulled up and vanned off. Final time, 106 and four with a quick timeout. Come back with the late pick four. Friday night's fifth race has started the late pick four at six furlongs, an allowance race with a purse of $52,000. Scratch number two, Floating Feather. Number four, Master Chef claimed for $20,000 off a good win last time out is the favorite at seven to five. A quintet went six furlongs in race number five. And they're off. Master Chef and Vader Tory break best. Daylight Magic between horses away third. Kesabitsi comes away running fourth, and the early trailer is Memphis. Master Chef quickest up the back stretch, a length and a quarter to Vader Tory in second. Daylight Magic's on the move in the green cap. There goes Daylight Magic to poke his orange blinker narrowly into second. 
Those three have sprinted four and a half clear of Kesabitsi, and galloping at the back of the pack is Memphis. They leave the back stretch, and Master Chef continues to lead. In fact, he gets away just a bit at the three furlong marker. Master Chef two and a quarter to Daylight Magic and Vader Tori. Now seven lengths to Kesabitsi. Memphis is about to join and pass him. Top of the stretch they run. Master Chef now only leads by a tight length. Daylight Magic three deep and Vader Tori between horses. Here's Daylight Magic trying to run down the front running Master Chef. Master Chef a length and a half to Daylight Magic. Boy, that guy fires every time. Daylight Magic and he's got a chance to run down Master Chef. Daylight Magic outside. Master Chef inside. Memphis is flying late and closing in on both of them. Master Chef, Daylight Magic, and Memphis, these three. This is a photo. Garrett Gomez thinks he wanted. He did a fist pump with Memphis. It is very close, though, with Master Chef. Those two right together. A good battle to the wire and a tight photo finish. The favorite Master Chef just hangs on over a fast closing Memphis. Master Chef claimed last time out by trainer Mark Glatton, owner Donkey Island Racing. What a quick return on the investment. $20,000 claim to purse $52,000. Joe Tattle up $4.80. Memphis second and finishing third, Daylight Magic. That pick three, $53.80. The pick five, $547.30. Two claims out of the fifth race. Number one, Vader Tour to Mark Glatt in a two-way shake. The winner, Master Chef, a record at the meet. 15 claims in to Peter Miller for $25,000. Final time, 111 flat. Sixth race began to final pick three, seven and one-half furlongs. Phillies and Mares Maidens, three and up in a field of nine. A couple of two-to-one shots, Chocolate Delight and Malibu Love. Chocolate Delight was the post-time choice. They're at the post. They're off. Five times breaks best and goes for the front. Tap, tap, you're it, and truly a mist or close up. Speedy Vixen in the first flight. Then Malibu Love, followed by Raz Linda, and at the rail, Tropical Kiss between horses Chocolate Delight and Lovely Sophia. Out of the chute and on to the main cushion track, and the leader is Tap Tap Urit from five times in second. Tap Tap Urit's a neck in front. Five times is second by two lengths to Speedy Vixen. Then comes Malibu Love and Truly a Mist, fourth and fifth, and about four from the front. Lovely Sophia has eight lengths to make up. Chocolate Delight is 11 lengths behind. Raz Linda's outside of her. And then Tropical Mist, at least 20, behind dueling front runners into the far turn. As five times and a Tap Tap Your It are still 1-2. Tap Tap Your It is a neck in front. Five times is second by now just a length and a half to Speedy Vixen. Malibu Love pretty much all in for Iggy. She's still two from the front but could win from that position. Malibu Love just felt a tap of the whip and moves into third. Then it's five back to Speedy or to Lovely Sophia. Chocolate Delight is beginning to close. She's seven lengths behind. But closing in, final furlong they run, and here's Malibu Love in the center of the racetrack. She challenges Tap Tap You're In and five times. Chocolate Delight is flying now. Looks like the last race with a Bo Greeley and Garrett Gomez trying to get up in the final stride. Malibu Love, Chocolate Delight, pump your fist this time. Go, go, you did it. Chocolate Delight did it over Malibu Love. Then came Tap Tap You're It and Lovely Sophia. First time Garrett Gomez, first time into the winner's circle for Chocolate Delight. Owned and bred by John Greeley, trained by Bo Greeley, Chocolate Delight $6 even. Malibu Love finished second and third was Tap Tap, you're it. Pick three, $57.70. The winner, Chocolate Delight, claimed by Gus Headley in a $20,000 claim. Final time, 133 flat. We'll take a break, come back with a late double. Back with Friday night's seventh race, a mile on the turf, an allowance race for California breads, an optional claiming price of $25,000. Scratch number seven, Miss Speed Dating, favorite on the outside, unusual hottie, bet down to six to five. Next offer with the call. It is time for the late double. They're up. Distant image and running Isabella break well. Jewel Seeker is taken back to second to last. So running Isabella will be the early leader. Sweet Baguette moves through inside of Unusual Hottie. And now those two are second and third. 
Donna Vasta and Demi Distant Image are next, then Jewel Seeker, and the early trailer is California Heat, and the leader is Running Isabella, and she's clear to the backstretch. Running Isabella has opened up a two-length lead on Unusual Hottie in second. Running Isabella is also way to the middle of the racetrack. She's in about the three or four path. That's going to leave the rail wide open for Sweet Baguette, who moves through to challenge within a length and a quarter of the lead. Unusual Hottie races in third, two and a half from the front. Donna Vasa and a distant image both have three and a half lengths to make up. Jewel Seeker is nine from the lead, and California Heat is 15 lengths behind as they head into the far turn in the first half of the late double. New leader Sweet Baguette has taken it over from Running Isabella, who comes right back at her in counter punches. So Sweet Baguette and Running Isabella are one two at the top of the stretch. Unusual Hottie in good striking position if she's good enough, a length and a half off the lead. Donna Vasa and Distant Image have four to come. They'll have to close strongly. Final furlong and sweet baguette and running Ila isabella are joined by unusual hottie who takes over the lead unusual hottie donna vasa comes after her it's down to these two unusual hottie three quarters donna vasa inching closer unusual hottie donna vasa unusual hottie donna vasa this is very close but i think it's hottie over donna vasa heads apart at the wire distant image and sweet baguette Another very tight photo finished. A nod goes to the favorite, unusual hottie. Rafael Bejarano up for John Sadler at $4.40. Tough beat for Donna Wasser. Finishing third was Distant Image. That rolling double, 4 8 13 60. The pick three, 4 4 8 13 60. That's okay. There was a claim in the race. Number three, Donna Wasser, claimed by Robertino Diodoro in a two way shake. Final time, 137 flat. Eighth and final at five and a half furlongs, maiden claimers for a $20,000 tag. Phillies and mares, three and up. Scratch number two, Ant Gert. Scratch number eight, Mile High Bunk. The favorite, number 11, Tiz, a bright miss at two to one. Ten went five and a half in the eighth and final. They're off. One lucky lady, stupendous princess, and... Tis a bright miss break. Best Satchmo's Muse, Quarter in the Storm, Warren's Passion, and Color Girl are next. Then Rock You Up, followed by Salon de Blonde, and the trailer is Double Livermore. Up the back stretch with Stupendous Princess, One Lucky Lady, a four-wide Rock You Up on the move, and there goes Rock You Up and Tis a Bright Miss, and those two will now be one, two, and they sprint away from Stupendous Princess. Warren's Passion passes One Lucky Lady, who drops back to fifth now and five off the lead. Satchmo's Muse and Color Girl both have six to come, then Salon Blonde, Double Livermore and Quarter in the Storm at the back of the pack. New leader, Rock You Up, up the top of the stretch. Rock you up and tis a bright miss. Stupendous Princess still could do it. She's two behind, though. Then Warren's Passion and in the center. Salon Blonde, tis a bright miss, has a length and a half on Rock You Up. Stupendous Princess at the rail. Warren's Passion and Salon Blonde, but it's tis a bright miss clear to the wire, and tis a bright miss will win. Tis a bright miss won by about two and a half. It is very close for second between Rock You Up and Stupendous Princess. Finishing fourth was Warren's Passion and fifth was Salon Blonde. First time Martine Pedroza, Tis a Bright Miss breaks her maiden in her seventh lifetime start for the owners Tom Grether Farms and Roberts. Kathy Walsh, the winning conditioner, the favorite returns six dollars even. Photo for second, the nod went to Stupendous Princess under very good handling by Martine Garcia. First time starter, Rock You Up, finished third. Trifecta, $210.50. Super High Five, just over $4,000 a copy. In the late pick four, very chalky, $35.35. Same with the pick six, six out of six, $849. Five out of six, $23.40. Place pick all, $2,176.10. First post time on Saturday at one o'clock. In the fifth race, scratch the three, so after all. In the eighth, scratch the five, Regalo Mia. Ninth race, scratch number two, Moonstruck Maya. That'll do it for Friday Night Racing here at Betfair Hollywood Park. Join us Saturday and closing day Sunday as we wrap up the meet. On Saturday, a rolling bag giveaway, the American Oaks and the A-Gleam, and Chantal Sutherland signs autographs in a paddock at 12 noon. Hope to see you out on Saturday and Sunday. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.